Ano ba yung magandang mnemonic device para matandaan kung sino si Arthur dito? Who is Jamie Rivera? Anyway. <laughs> Seriously, who is Jamie Rivera? She's an inspirational singer. <laughs> okay, yes, what's her so. what are her hits? Best of best. Um, tell the world that is Okay. Yes, so that's... from Pope John Paul II. Oh, yes, World Day. Yes, World Day. Yes, and there was another one that the song. I don't even know for what occasion that. Okay, was. tell the world of his love is her song. Um, it's a time of the great jubilee. It's, it's, it's also to give. Yeah. Yes. Ah, okay. So uh, she had the two. She had those hits. two songs. If she has anything else, I haven't really followed her career. Okay. So, but I just know it for those two songs. That, those two songs yeah. went um, quadruple platinum. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure by the local stand. I, I heard it's easy to get, to get those <laughs> platinum here. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so Jamie Rivera is um, famous for the <laughs> not for those, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, famous, famous, yes. <laughs> famous, not notorious, <laughs> not okay. Famous for those two yeah. songs, and she's um, again. Did she come up with a new song for this visit? Yes, um, we are all God's children. I, is it as catchy as the first two no. songs? <laughs> Personally speaking, no. yeah. Sorry, okay, no. no. I think, like, I really love the performance at UST of Tell the World of His Love by a young boy. So, yeah, and it feels like it's the song, it's the song all over again. Like okay. that, and the Pope is that song. Okay, so you made this, uh, well, not made, there <laughs> was this meme image mm -hmm. going around Facebook. Yes. Check out, check it out here. Okay. We, we, we'll look at it right now. Yes. So it says, Pope Summer Slam, January 15 to 19. Was there actually a, a such an event, a Pope Summer Slam? No, it's not. It it's is, a, it didn't happen. No, it is a parody of Pulp Summer Slam, which is a heavy metal event by Pulp Magazine, if I'm not mistaken. I see. Yes. Okay. For the record, I did not make this photo. I okay. did not. My photo. Who made the photo? Skills. I don't know. I got okay, it from. Someone else. Wait, I will. I'll show you the screen cap. I got it from. I was tagged in this. Samahan ng mga rakista. Yeah, in this Facebook thing. Oh, no, course. a friend shared it and tagged me because we are these people that are. Right. Um, have a sense of humor. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, let's not put it that way, naman. But we yeah. have a very, very like interesting sense. It was, uh, it's with everything we have to go to day by day. We deal with it. With parody. Okay. Yes. Uh, Pope Summer Slam seems like an interesting event. I would want to go. I'm not even a metalhead. To this, uh, yeah, 400 mm -hmm. bucks it says here, and for using this as your cover photo, some people actually thought that you made this photo. Yes. And for that, what did you get? Um, basically, I got threatened. I, threatened. Yes, I got threatened to be ruined professionally. The very broad term, and this is quote and quote consequences that hill abs yan. now if this came from any other person it's like okay haters gonna hate but the sad thing is these are people that have some influence and have resources in the network that told me this threat that passed this threat on to me not even through official means but through mutual friends okay i can read i will read it i can't cite the person she sent it to because he asked not to be because he, it's also completely interesting. Legal stuff, yeah. yeah. Okay. But basically, I'm very sorry at this point, I'm an Inglesera. Ginawa niya kasi photo cover, kaya kala nila siya gumawa. Hmm. Kakawi ko lang, kakata lang ni Jamie kay Pope. Again, I don't know this one. Again, ito agad nakita ko. Well, di naman kasi ako map mapapagol sa ganyan. Especially now, bless kami ni Pope. Just tell her the consequences, ABS-CBN yan. Okay. That's a direct quote. ABS-CBN yan. Yes. You are an individual with less than a thousand friends. This is a million peso <laughs> conservative, like a, like a million, hundred thousand peso organization threatening you, so just back off. <laughs> this reminds me about that, that fear that a lot of people had when the the cybercrime law yes. was made that people were afraid if I shared something, if I liked something, would I be incriminate, you know, yes. as well? Um, and this is what's happening. You just shared something and then you're getting the consequences for it. Let's, let's go a bit wider here. Yeah. The issue of um, freedom of speech has been on the mm -hmm. news um, mm -hmm. since the Charlie Hebdo um, attacks happened. Mm -hmm. And now, you know, Pope Francis with his comment about 
punching the person on the nose and to expect something like that when such um, insults can happen and that you cannot insult religion. And here we have the, a practical example of just that. It's a test case, essentially. Like you, to them, to those executives at that network, mm -hmm. you were insulting their religion mm -hmm. by maybe yeah. making a parody of the Pope um, mm -hmm. or maybe just even uh, Jamie Rivera. And, and for that, it, you, you know, know what? Yeah. The idea of the Jamie Rivera was an afterthought until it was brought to my attention. It was yeah. a parody of, um, sorry, the government imposing a five day holiday because of the papal visit. Okay. It was simple as that. And those are very, very personal beliefs. It's a com personal commentary at that. I would actually yes. think that it's solely about the business interests of Jamie Rivera until I saw that comment about maybe that person is a Satanist. Yes, I saw yes. that also. Like, so, so there's some religious um, I can't control angle that. going on there yeah. as well. I can't even control that because, okay, they can judge me based on that, but I don't see that as a basis for my consequences. Yan, A, B, S, C, D, and yan. That's my, I have deeper issue with that. So what do you think should someone, a private individual, I don't even want to make you seeing it, but as a private citizen, what really traumatized me, because it really is a trauma, is I was operating under, I live in a free country. Yeah. Yeah. And I think what happened now, I re what I feel, and I want to be proven wrong, is free speech here can only be, uh, it's only for those who can afford it. But I want to be proven wrong. Unless there's some sort of um, harm, either psychological or. Uh well, professional, pretty much, not much, <laughs> not much. Yes, but but there but, was psychological harm at least. Um, you know, there was. It was. But 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 then again, you would have to uh, present in court, and as we discussed earlier, um, you would have to post a bond if you're going to claim damages. Hmm. So That's new for me. You would have to shell out money in just so that you sue. could. Sue someone. Yeah. Yes. So it's all it's already biased against people who have less resources than than yes. networks yes. that have you know unlimited. Actually, the, actually, the real problem there is that um what you have there is a network and they're the ones that are supposed to be against um violations of freedom of speech. Exactly. This is, this is exactly. clearly a freedom of speech case. Yeah. And um well, first point, the picture is not really offensive at all. It's not libelous. Oh, well, wait, let, let me stop you there. Like, offensiveness mm -hmm. is in the eye of the beholder. Like, you know, that's so it's something that's very subjective. You know, some people could yes, be... Yes, but um, in case of defamation or yeah. libel under the law, it's very specific. Ah, that, okay. that cannot be... Um, so in legal terms, yes. there's a very yes. objective definition yes. of what first, is per, offensive. First of all, it's a parody. Yeah. The, Number one case, um, well, in the, in the States, is the People versus Larry Flint case. It, it, it became a movie, and, well, most of us watched it. And in that case, uh, the publisher of uh, uh, a girly magazine, uh, Penthouse. Was it Penthouse? Yes, it was Penthouse. Penthouse. Yes. Okay. So, um, Larry Flint, he publishes a, a, a nudie magazine, and it wasn't even the nudie part that caught the eye of um, the people who uh, sued him. He came out with a false ad, a parody, mm. that stated there that um, they're willing to give a reward to the uh, to the person who can get the photo of this uh, televangelist. I, I, I can't remember his name. This mm. televangelist having sex with his own mother in an outhouse. Okay. Okay. So and, and they had a drawing of that. Yeah. Okay. Now that is patently offensive, unlike that picture. Hmm. And in that case, the Supreme Court in the U.S. held that a parody is not serious. Everybody should know that it's not serious. And to think that there would be a, some photo there of the um, televangelist having sex with his mother in an outhouse is just absurd. Yeah. And it, it, it should just be left at that. It's an insult, yes, but it cannot be acted upon. Yeah. If they couldn't act upon that, how can they act upon Jamie Rivera, 
rocking it out with the Pope. Yeah. What are the odds of Pope Francis like doing a heavy metal concert? Not even Jamie Rivera doing yeah, a heavy metal concert. Yeah, and yeah. I'm not even a fan. And Actually, I, I think yeah. I think the Pope might go to a heavy metal concert, but Jamie Rivera wouldn't go to a heavy metal yeah, concert. Yeah, he used to be a metal head. Uh, in yeah. His, yeah. In his younger days. So the, <laughs> this was clearly parody. It's clearly satire, yes. you know. In, in Carlos Seljan's case, it it's not about? satire. It's not parody. He mm -hmm. was. He entered uh, an ecumenical meeting. It wasn't a mass, so mm -hmm. uh, that's an important detail of that case. Mm -hmm. And the offending religious feelings clause yeah. is being used against him for offending yeah. feelings of the religious notoriously. We, we have to remember that that particular provision. Well, you, you won't find that in the states, but yeah. you would find it in our. Um, Penal. penal code yeah. for the simple reason that it's based on the Spanish penal code. Yeah, and if, uh, during that time, it was strongly pro-Catholic Church. Yeah, from the makers of the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. But 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 that's the thing. Um, we're all expecting. Well, most of us lawyers are all expecting it to reach the Supreme Court, and well, I for one, I'm hoping that it'll be struck uh, struck down as yeah. unconstitutional because yes. This day and age, it's right in the 21st century, and you can't have that sort of thing going around. The a provision that would uh, offend religious feelings. Yeah, anything would offend a religious feeling. It's um, it's a blasphemy law, essentially. They, and the essentially, UN. But 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 the thing there is, yeah. um, all religions would offend other religions. Yes, yes. That's, that's the point. We have a case in point. Of just that, like um, there's there was news earlier, like the mainstream networks already picked it up. The PNP reported that there were four evangelicals who were charged with offending religious feelings um, because they attended the the Pope event and they held signs that said, uh, "Don't worship, don't worship idols," and they they thought you know with the way that people were treating Pope Francis, it was like. Idolatry, idolatry mm. yeah. for them, mm. and they have the right to have to hold that opinion, yeah. and um, th that opinion was offensive to a lot of the people there, and they're being charged with offending religious feelings, and it seems like there's not just one but already two cases mm. of offending religious feelings, and you yeah. know it illustrates just what yeah. you said. Every religion, yeah. Uh, what, what happens is um, we we follow the, the line of thinking that the freedom of religion benefits not the many but the minority. It's essential for the minority to speak out because if you just have group thing, okay, you have everybody in some sort of um, bubble. E not only a bubble, an echo chamber, yeah. and you're just supporting one another, then that kills the individual. Yeah. You don't have independent thought, you don't have room for dissent. Basically, you're Al Qaeda. It's or not ISIS. A, um, people mis have this misconception about democracy. They think that democracy is like th there are more people who think this yeah. way, and therefore you you follow the majority. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's called democracy, yeah. isn't it? Called uh, I mean, actually, the proper um, term for that is fascism. Because <laughs> okay, um, in, let's in, escalate. Mm -hmm. um, what happens yes. in, in um, the term fascist comes from um, the Italian well, Latin term for fasci, which means bundle. Mm. Okay. It was popularized by um, Mussolini. Yeah. So what, hap what what you have there is that it comes with the, the thing that if you're just one, you can snap easily. But if you're a bundle, you cannot be defeated. Mm. Hence, fascism. Mm. Now, that's a problem in a, in, a, in a democracy. A democracy, it values its minority. Yes. A democracy is not fascist. Yes. So it's very important to have the freedom of speech. Hmm. You mentioned Mussolini, mm -hmm. and I'm remembering how much he's done for the Catholic Church. <laughs> and so, so the link of fascism and what's happening yes. right now, Italy. it's very close, it's very close. Like um, the past week, mm -hmm. like nobody could express a negative opinion of the Catholic Church or the Pope while he was here. How absurd was that? I mean, here's the, the leader of the Catholic Church and now you can't speak about the ills of the Catholic Church while the leader is close yeah. enough to actually hear you. And it's, a, it's that kind of censorship. It's the, it's the same censorship that yeah. kept you from, um, that forced you to take down that cover photo. It's the same kind of censorship that people would want um, critics like me 
of the Catholic Church and Pope Francis, you know, they want me to put a lid on the stuff that I'm saying against mm -hmm. Pope Francis. And it's the same kind of censorship that uh, that Carlos Eldran is experiencing right now. I mean, he's so stressed out. I, I talked to him about it, like so many people hating him for daring to criticize the Catholic Church. Don't you guys find it funny that um, they had th that class mass? Okay. Mm. It was in Doneta. Yeah, Rizal. Yes, where, where you had I saw. Okay. It was shot yeah. for okay. being a... But, but the funny thing there was that um, the homily was being delivered in Spanish. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you for watching this episode. We will keep you updated on our page, on our website, on what happens with Mia's case, if you ever decide to pursue that. Um, Marnie is with the Philippine Internet Freedom Alliance, and uh, of which uh, Filipino Free Thinkers is also a part. And there are several things that, you know, that came up. We might do something related to freedom of speech soon. We'll update you uh, on the podcast, on our website. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, and see you next time.